All right, Joe Bruin here with AllAccessEntertainment.com. We're here with the one and only Spencer Wilding. It's Rhode Island Comic Con, the 10th anniversary show. Uh, what's the experience been like thus far well, this week? You've got like five five cameras on that, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the dark side right there. It's going to light things up, though. Right. Oh, yeah. And what good. do I think of Ro- uh, that? Rhode Island Comic Con is amazing. It's like, I've been here several times now. Uh, it just keeps on seeming to be growing and growing and growing and growing. I think they're going to need a, a, a bigger boat soon. You know right. what I mean? But it, what I love about the Comic Con is, is the positivity. You know? Uh, and, and the cosplayers are just getting better each year. I'm, I'm out this side. Look at this. Look at this guy here. Look at that. Look at that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and that, you know, so much passion that goes into these cosplaying. You know, it's pretty awesome, man. And uh, I'm having fun. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, to share the love. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Now let's talk uh, a little Hobbs and Shaw action. You know, what was that whole experience like on the set of that movie? That was pretty cool. Well, how I got that role as well is uh, I was working on the Men in Black International. And uh, we were out to dinner one night, and I just got talking to when, when Mr. Mr. Paul Walker passed away. Uh, my son was a massive, massive uh, Paul Walker fan, and he didn't come out of his room for a week. Because I said I was growing, I was growing up the ladder, I was growing up the ladder, I was growing up the ladder, and I thought maybe I might meet meet him one day, and we'll uh, introduce you to him, Bob. And Bob was only a young lad at the time, and um, so when he passed away, we were all gutted. And then at the end of uh, Men in Black International, I get a phone call the production of Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw and say, hey Spen, can you come and do a little cameo for us? I was like, yeah, <laughs> what to do? Who we're working with? The Rock. I'm like, great, oh, you know, you know, I know it's going to blow my boy's head off and everybody else's kids' heads off. Right. You know what I mean? Being the Fast and Furious. And uh, it was just awesome, man. And uh, yeah, and uh, I, did, I thought I was going to get to have a bit of a tire up with him, but it was a comical scene. I get knocked out straight away and pull a few faces. Because he hits hard. He hits like the rock, man. And I was feeling his muscles like, whoa, look at the size of them. You know what I mean? He's the rock, man. So, uh, yeah, good. And when it comes to Lord Vader himself and portraying that iconic character, um, how did you get involved in that role and what was that experience like? Well, it was it was a little bit different than all my other auditions, you know, because it was very secretive. We didn't know the production. We didn't know the character we were going for. And we had several saved cell tapes before getting to the Pinewood Studios for the... For the basically the tick on the cross, you either get the part or you don't. And uh, but he's you know he's an iconic character to play, and he makes a lot of noise. And when I landed him and we, we played him, I was really excited as well. So I was forty like 44, 45 films in, so I knew he's that noisy. Everybody's going to go, what's well, all right, what Spencer Wilder been up to the past twenty years? Do you know what I mean? So they've gone through all my other characters, and so everybody has a little bit of their own time, all my other characters, which is brilliant. Thanks, Mr. Darth Vader, for doing that. Too. Awesome. And where can fans follow you? Uh, they can follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's at Big Spen Wilding, or capital letter of each, each, each uh, capital letter of each word. Uh, and on Instagram, it's at Spencer Wilding. Yeah, if you want to follow me, great. If you don't, it's all good. Oh, no, we will be following you. And in closing, um, for somebody, an aspiring actor, wants to get involved in the world of acting, how would they go about that? What's your recommendation? Well, how I went about it, right? I, uh, you, you've got to take rejection uh, as a positive. If you go into an audition, you don't get the part, you've just gone into the casting director's memory banks. So so stay positive. Knock on as many doors as you can. Get yourself out of your comfy zone. Stuff is, Put loads of stuff on, on, on the internet if you do monologues and this, that, and because you don't know who's watching. You never know, you know? I just never, ever, ever, ever give up and don't let anybody tell you that you can't follow your dream, right? Ever, right? So good luck. Thank you so much here. Rhode Island Comic Con, 10th anniversary, Spencer Wilder.